all right so in this video i want to show you how to add products to conga store okay so let me just log out quickly i'm going to send you a link to the wingo sook um to the store right this is a jimia store we're going to be adding all these products to conga any product we add any new product we add on Kong, on jimia we're going to add that same product on conga so i'm going to send you the login details so this is the login details for this particular store okay the email did not come up forward. so let's go again login so the first thing to do you will log in now of course like i said i'll send you the link to this store so in this video i'll show you how let's say we want to add this particular product so i'll click on it to open it so if i give you a if i give you the store i will show you the product that, are, that, are, that have not been added so that you just add them one after the other it's pretty simple to add products but of course you have to be careful so now when you're logged into to the seller um, headquarter hq on conga you're going to see all these things at the left so here is the orders when there's order you start you click on it you see the orders here all the products that you've added you see there here is the way how so you can see that we've added seven products for is life three under review so any product you add it's going to go under review for one to three days conga will either approve or reject so now we want to add this particular product to conga store the first thing i like to do is to first of all save all the images because you are because you are, we, are, we are adding it from conga from jumia we have all the details already here so go ahead and save all the details so let me copy the title first of all so you copy this title and you use the title to save the images so i click on save images as and i'll paste that title there and i'll save make sure you save it as the image can see the name of the product or make sure you save the image with the name of the product so i'll click on this and i will save as i'll paste the name in this case this sense i will just try to make it a little bit unique i'll save i'll click on it right click on it I'll save as paste the name this time around i'll do the side save i'll next one save as I'll paste that name and this time around I'll just take out the iPhone altogether. So I'll do this for the rest videos and I'll come back. Alright, so I've saved a lot of images, although on Conga you can only add five images. So now you're in your store, you want to add a new image. Click on this sell an item, this small green button at the top right hand corner. So you so click on that button, you will need to choose the category of the product. Okay. The same thing with Jumia, you can see this product is added to a particular particular category. Now, this category is what Conga will use to charge their commission. So you have to put the product in the best possible category or the, even the right category. So on Jumia, we have it on home and office, large appliances, blah, 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 blah down to kitchen for sets. But it's not going to be the same with, with Conga. So what I like to do is to come to Conga.com, paste in the title and try to look for the same product or similar product. Now, similar product because you might not find the same product on Conga. Okay, so boom, we have uh, maybe maybe almost the same product, if not if not if not almost similar product, if not the same. So yeah, very close, if not the same. I think it's the same product, but that's not the case. So in this case, you can see the this, the um, category is home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, dining. All right, so let's go to Conga. So now you're going to choose the category like you can see on Jimmy and these categories. You make sure you try to put this product in the best possible category. So in this case, you're going to choose, uh, we can look at what this person did here, home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, then dining. So let's see if we can, I don't think that product is a dining. So we can do home and kitchen, then we'll come to subcategories, then we choose uh, kitchen and dining. The subcategory, let's go with uh, kitchen utensils. Let's see if that works out. Uh, I'll just go with kitchen accessories because that's something close. It's not something about dining. Okay. Uh, so the next thing to do, you can see you have zero to five images to add. The, the dimension should be around 500 by 500 or 1000 by 1000. The minimum images, the minimum, minimum of three images. So is that you click here or you click here to upload? So I'm just going to click here. It's going to take you down to where you save those images. I want this image to be the first image. I double click on it. It's going to bring me down to to Conga to resize the image. So I'll drag this above here. Drag it down here because I want everything on this image to show. I will click upload. That will take a few seconds. Then next one, I'll click here to upload new one. 
and I want this image to be the second image for me I'll drag this up here and I'll drag it down here again upload wait for it for a few seconds all right next I'll click upload I'll choose the next image because I have just five images so I'll make sure I'm cho choosing the best image I click this to be my third drag this up here upload upload image there's a this is the fourth I'm going to make this my fourth image is it the fourth or the fifth okay fourth so for the fifth one I'm going to click upload and choose carefully let me make this my fifth image so I'll just drag this here and I'll boom upload so now we have our five images so we've successfully added our category and images if you want to make any image the cover let's say you don't want this image to be the cover image you can simply click on use as cover this new image is going to be used as cover but I, I like this one to be the cover so now product details um if this is not a branded item if the your product is not a branded item just put an high from there all right if it's a branded item you put the brand for the weights i'm just going to put 0 0.5 because Conga has like their weight guidelines, so you can click here to see their weight guidelines based on the category. So the next one is the product title. Remember, we'll copy the title from Jumia. That's what I'm going to post there. The next section is description. The first thing I like to do is to paste the title. So when I paste the title, I highlight everything. I go to format and I go to headline. I click on headline one to deformat it. And I also go back to headline one and make it headline one for real. So now I click on next, all right, like enter button to go take me to the next tab. Then I'll go over to Jumia because we have all these details done already. I'm just going to drag, copy them, control C, come over here, control V. Yeah. And I'm going to just remove all loose ends. Now, because these things here is because I have Grammarly installed on my laptop. That's why you see all these things. So I cannot leave them. I'm just going to um, work on them and come back. All right, so done with that. I like adding images on my description. You can also see that on, on Jumia. We like adding images on the description. Kind of like this image. Let me save this image if I don't already have it. Let me right click and save. Save. No. Let me save with the title of the product. That is not the title. So I'll just click here and make it for example save now I'll come over to conga down here I'm just gonna click I upload image it's quite easy to add image on description of conga compared to Jimmy so just click that then I'll click choose the file I want this to be the first image I'm uploading actually all right so I'm gonna click enter scroll back up add another image I like adding two to three images sometimes four if I, um, if I have the time I want these to be um next image so for this purpose i'm just going to add two images now the next part uh, is the short description jimia calls it the highlight so let's just scroll down for, on jimia and copy the highlights we have here or the features now always paste the highlights on notepad to kind of kill the formatting and make sure you just copy them one after the other and paste them because Conga has like a maximum of 200 characters. So if you paste everything at once, it will not work. Okay. Sometimes it might be more. Sometimes it might just be them not allowing it to go. So I'm just gonna paste the rest once I come back. Okay. So it just allowed me. To, they allowed me to only post these three. So I'm just gonna click on this bullet list to make them bullet. Let me see if I can add one more. No, they don't allow me to add one more. But we only have 119 characters. Any which way. Let's move ahead. So we'll scroll down for warehouse. Would you like one? We let warehouse item with conga. No, because we're doing it ourselves. For the price, now you go back to Jumia and see the price we have there. We have 3850. You're just gonna copy that and come over here and paste that price there. 3850. Or oh, we can easily say the product is 4850, but we're giving a discount of 1000 We're selling for 3850. You get so um do you want to charge for VAT? no i don't want to charge for VAT. i don't want to charge the customer for VAT actually so how many items do you have on this jumia likes to they want to make you put like 20 or 30 if you like put 100 they might not 
uh, accept. So return policy, I just like to leave it at seven days for this particular item. Some items are not, re are not returnable, you know, so you can put um, no return, but most items I sell are returnable, so they can return it. So for the color, which color should I, I think I'm going to use gray. For the SKU, SKU is it stands for seller uh, stock keeping units all right so it's just a code you use to identify the product in your stock so in this case the product is a four set so i'm just going to put something like this four sets uh, uh big i'm just going to put big because it's a big one we have the smaller one all right the model i'm going to leave it blank and it's not even uh, it's not um required the required you can see the red asterisk so the condition is brand new the utensil type are you going to give us a faucet here no faucet uh just gonna put others yeah so the warranty do you provide warranty no now for the um keyword i like i like to take my time to come up with some keyword like from the title there's a keyword there and i'll just put in comma put in like five or six keyword but for this video i don't want it to be too long it's getting too long already so now before i click on save i will first of all go up here and try to see or cross check if everything i did was uh correct according to me so hyphen open, open file the title is there the description we have everything intact so once i'm happy with that i'll click save item if everything is fine it's going to work if not they're going to show you a bar red buyer that said it's not it's not working but now you can see note approval takes two to three working days before they can approve so to verify that product has been added to your store click the product section you will see that the new one you added is still under pending okay you can click on it to see you can edit it you can clone it let's say you have we have similar type of product you want to add you can easily clone it and just change some details so basically this is how to add product to conga store uh, if you have any question just shoot me and i will answer so that we can move forward like i said we have a lot of products to add. We're going to add all these products we have on Conga on Jimia store into our Conga store. So let's move. There's a lot of work to be done.